Hey, welcome to video 5. This is Jay Sims here again. Uh, in the last video, we added our intro, outro, uh, little branding image there in the front of the and, uh, end of the video. And today, we're just going to add a mu music track to it, so this shouldn't take too long. Um, I am going to leave a, a link at the bottom of the video for this site here, which is audio sound clips. Dot com. Uh, it's got some f public domain copyright free music you can use. Uh, just make sure you check the website, check the terms, all that. Um, you know, if you don't, you could do a search. You can find music all over, you know, just do a Google search. Just make sure you check the license and if you're going to use it, you know, because you may need to give a link back to the artist or the website. Um, you can also buy huge packages of like loops and things like music loops you can use or you can use a a DAW software a digital audio workstation which you can actually record your audio uh, your voice uh, virtual instruments live instruments they come with uh, loops music loops and um, I use one called Mixcraft 6 because the price is pretty cheap for what you get I mean it, it's pretty powerful software for for the price because these softwares can uh, DAW softwares can really be expensive so um, the one I use is like $74 Mixcraft 6 and it's comes with 6,000 loops um, also does some video editing I'll have to show it to you guys on a different video but um, it's pretty cool uh, they have a payment plan too. It's like ten dollars a month. You'll pay a little bit more in the long run, but if you're on a budget, then you know. Well, let's go ahead and open up our Movie Maker software and go up to the the little arrow here, and you should have like a recent projects. Uh, you could find your project that you saved there, or you could click on open project and navigate to where you saved it mine's right here so here's our video we were working on yesterday if you've been following along if not go back and watch those other videos if you don't know how to do this yet it's really is pretty cool I was pretty stoked when I learned how to how to do it and um, I actually learned this from most of this I, I learned from Omar Martin uh, MUA uh, videos so a lot of awesome stuff in there and because uh, I did not know how to do this before so right here you can click just make sure you're if you want the music to start here just make sure this black line is here and we're just gonna navigate to our music or mp3 and click on it double click on it and it adds it in here now this one's too long I mean it's a loop and it uh, it goes past the transition here so what we can do is click I would I would go a little bit past the uh, the transition here in the video don't put it right in between because that's going to be a little bit it's kind of going to cut it off and you can also see up here what's going on so we know you know from here right about there I start talking so we'll put it about right here and uh, then you go up to music tools options there's a little split tab right here just click on that and now you you split the track into two separate tracks <clears throat> so now what you could just right click and remove this track but I'm gonna leave it there for a second I'm actually gonna click on it go up here and turn it down because um, <clears throat> I don't want it to interfere when we check this out but let's click on the track go up here you can you can fade it in and fade it out so let's maybe try a slow fade in and out and see what that does hey, 
and that um, that worked out pretty well right here going a little bit uh, a little bit longer if you if you ever mess up you know you do something and you want to change it or you know just there's a little undo button up here and a redo button so you can always kind of just one click redos if you need to um, <clears throat> so sometimes so that turned out pretty good but sometimes you might want to have this track continue on through the video this one actually is not a good example because it ends right here so it's you know it's not gonna I was gonna show you how you can well maybe I still can show you what you want to try to do this is gonna fade out slow so click on this and then go up to the volume and just bring it up just a little bit and we'll try to kinda of match this these two when this one fades out and I'll show you how you, you can kinda of match that up to have a backtrack just it'll, it'll fade out to a lower volume to where you can just leave it uh, playing in the you know you've seen videos like that where there's music constantly in the background the whole video it's just turned down so let's click up here and see if we can match that up that was a little bit too high still so you can hear there's a little hiccup here there's a little where that transition comes in little bit of a now I whether that'll show up after you save the video I'm not quite sure so you would have to do a little bit of playing with this to you know kind of match it up but um, you know I'm sure there's with a little bit of playing around here you could get that to to match up well to where it fades out and then you know keeps the track going through the whole video mine though I'm just gonna remove it from mine because we've got it fading out in the video and so that will work and then we're gonna go down here and do here on this one and we're actually gonna start this one about right here because you know when it fades you want, you always want to go a little bit before the uh, transition here so we'll we'll go right about here and then go up here click add music and this time you want to go add music at current point and that's going to put it right here where this black line is from here on so let's do that and there you go so now we can go up and click mm, slow fade in fade out and we'll see what that looks like now I kind of get drowned out by the music here um, we've already got it on a slow fade so uh, you you know you could clip this back back here a little bit more you know the split and then delete this part off or you could just turn up the the video volume go to video tools click the video and you can kind of turn up the volume a little bit that's a little bit better you can hear the uh, thanks a lot not that you need to but <laughs> okay well um, that is pretty much it now you can save your
you can save your uh, video. You go up here to home. <clears throat> now you can either save it or you can upload it to YouTube uh, or Facebook or whatever you want to do here. But you do have to have like a my uh, MSN account, Hotmail account. You know, you can sign in through your email account here and then and then your YouTube account and upload it that way or you can just click on save movie now this is gonna save as a Windows media file so it's um, it's not you can't save it as like an mp4 or anything like that but if you're gonna upload it to YouTube it doesn't matter really um, and if you wanted an mp4 of it for some reason yeah, once you upload it to YouTube you can actually go into your account and uh, download the mp4 so I don't worry about that too much. Uh, you can also use software to um, convert it, like Handbrake or uh, any video convert converter is one I use too. So for right now though, this video is getting kind of long, so we're just going to um, save it. Now, obviously, if you save it for high definition, it's gonna um, be a bigger file and all that so you, know, you can save it uh, for whatever you want you can burn it to a DVD if you want you can save it for a computer uh, or you can save it high def if you want but it's going to be a pretty big uh, file you can also go down here at mobile devices so kind of cool custom settings so um, save it as whatever you would like to save it if you want to save high def then save high def it's going to be a WMB file though so um, it'll play in Windows Media Player and you can upload it to YouTube and like I said if you needed the mp4 if you were going to upload it to youtube anyway you could just upload it to youtube and then go into your video manager account or your video manager and um, download the mp4 <coughs> back to your computer so um, that's about it guys uh, I'm not going to save this video because I already have it uh, I just wanted to show you how to do that and this video is 13 minutes long and I am just been kind of tired lately, so I've been kind of dragging, uh, not not uh, sounding too excited, but um, hopefully you learned something uh, that you can use, and in the next video, I haven't really decided what we're going to do yet. I'm probably going to try to show you the video recorder, the, the recording software that I use, so uh, like I said, I'll have to do that with Jing. Um, maybe I'll show you Jing first. Jing's free, but you can only record up to five minutes of video with it. So, we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.